take a look at this incredible time-lapse video. It captures just how quickly storm surge flooded St. Bernard Parish yesterday. It took just an hour for it to go from dry concrete to a flooded lake. Even though the storm is weakened, there is still a real and present threat. Newsy meteorologist Scott Withers is in New Orleans with more details on the threats that lie ahead. All of the power is out here in New Orleans and for more than a million people across Louisiana after Hurricane Ida caused a catastrophic electric infrastructure failure. The few lights still on in New Orleans are from generators, but those will stop running eventually. The electric company working to keep the power on and the pumps running, but after hours of relentless winds, the power going out in the New Orleans skyscrapers. And across the state, more than a million customers without power. The winds knocking down trees, blocking interstates. Ida's winds driving massive whitecaps on Lake Pontchartrain, spilling out of its banks and moving up the side of the levees. Ida dumping up to 15 inches of rain in New Orleans, overwhelming some of the sewer systems. Water bubbling up and flooding the streets. After making a double landfall, Ida's winds still powerful, now moving into Mississippi. The power company won't even estimate how long it's going to take to rebuild those transmission lines or how long the Crescent City will be in the dark, but it could take weeks or even longer. I'm meteorologist Scott Withers in New Orleans.